In this video, I want to demonstrate how to use the block delete or block skip as it is also called. The block skip as seen here is the slash in front of the code. When using the block skip function, if the button is not turned on at the machine controller, then the slash is ignored and the code is run as normal. If the function is enabled at the machine, then any code on the line after the slash is ignored and not executed by the machine. The slash does not have to be at the beginning of line as it's shown here. For example, people often use it to disable the coolant on code when first running a program, so it's easier to see the tool approach the part. In this case, the slash would go here before the M08. Then when the first part is run, the block skip would be turned on and the coolant call would be ignored. And once the height offset was picked up, the coolant can be manually started at the machine controller. In this sample, I've added it to the two lines where the quartered ream holes are spot drilled here, as well as to the drilling and reaming tools. This will allow me to make some parts with the ream holes and some without. If I run the code with the block skip off, the ream holes are spot drilled, drilled and reamed. If I run the code with it turned on, so in the simulator, I come down here and say skip on and I'll uncheck tools one and two, as well as four and seven, because they don't machine the reamed holes. And then I run the code. The reamed holes are ignored. The reamed holes are skipped and all the other holes are still spot drilled. In the next video, I'll demonstrate how to alter the R and Z parameters when there is a large air gap between the top and bottom of the hole.